He's been living in this gun ace twins, and that's all he's really doing on offense. I mean, it might not look complicated, Rico, but there's a lot there that he's accomplishing with his patience and then the ground game. So Rage will have his hands full. He's already taken down the 2016 Madden champion Stiffmeister in this event. So he's just got one more name to add to his resume if he can beat True Boy. All right, well, he's going to start on the offensive side of the ball. And True Boy jumped out just like the number one seed he is and has a three-yard loss on first down. And True Boy has probably gone against the Broncos playbook in 500 games this year. So, ooh, and that's a bad throw from Aaron Rodgers to start the game. You shake that one out of your system, and you don't expect it to happen again. That's why you pay a premium in your cap for Aaron Rodgers. But he's probably faced this, this Broncos playbook, so you're not going to surprise him. It's just going to be come down to who can execute here. All right, it's third and 13. You don't want to start off your first Fumble, drive. fumble. Oh, no, no. So what happened right there was the corner route was going to get open, but he, uh, True Boy usered it. He tried to scramble to the right as a second option, which Stevie J in the last game had a lot of success with. He got bottled up, and then all of a sudden couldn't get rid of it. Fumble happened. Fortunately, he's able to punt it in flip field position in this championship. Ooh, ooh! Now that's some fancy stick work for you. Yeah, True Boy generally uses the left stick for user moves, but that time it was a spin. That's a precision spin. So any player with 90 plus spin move, when you press the left trigger and the B button, they give you that spin animation. All right, True Boy taking over on offense. He's looking to establish that run game that he's so famous for. Yeah, and when you have five lead offensive linemen, it should be easy for you. It's been a bit of tough sledding, but he's stuck with it and he's averaging about four or five yards to carry. If he can do that in this and possess the ball, it could become his day. He needs to do better, though, at getting out to a fast start. Why is he waiting until the third and fourth quarter to make all these plays? I know he's clutch, but I bet he would like to get out to a lead in the first quarter for the first time today. Oh, uh, he's definitely trying to. He's in the shotgun set, drops back. Oh, and Rage like a boss sending that heat. Screaming like a boss off the right side. I love that you could just say any word and then like a boss, and it makes sense. This is great. Third and nine, like a boss here on True Boy on offense. All right, True Boy sends a man in motion, trying to take a look. Drops back, has a few men open. Oh, that's a big sack. Both of these guys have a little bit of trouble on their first drive. Nobody was open, Rico. That was a box, as they say. It's a box. That was boxed up. Great defense. He saw those route combinations. His defenders hung with him. And what I like the most is that route that came across the middle late, he usered and took away. That's where uh, True Boy has been really making his money at, at, at late in plays on that short throw where he gets good uh, run after catch. Rage said, not so fast. All right, Rage gets a stop. So it's not too bad that he got stopped on his first one. He looks to run with the quarterback, picks up a couple. That dive could have gotten ugly. So here's why that happens, Rico. In Madden 17, with the run moves, to dive, to slide with the quarterback, you just tap the X button. But he was holding turbo so he could run fast. So he was holding the right trigger with the quarterback, and then he dove, and that caused him to lay out. So that was one mistake. Then he comes right back and says, one mistake, I'll raise you. I'll raise you another mistake. I'm gonna throw late to the flat and almost get picked off or popped. That flat needs to be an immediate read or else it could be a pick six. Oh, he's got a touchdown. And this kid, he knows something, and he didn't tell me about it before the game, and now I'm mad at him. But what a play, throw, read, downfield. I don't know if that was a blown coverage and a mistake by True Boy. I don't know if that's just the best play ever by Rage, but three, 30 seconds, that's too easy. We're going to have to ask Spence to find out from him later on. How does he know when he can throw that, that pop up top? Yes. Because he's making that read right off the line. In his first game, he went to overtime with Stiffmeister, and he busted that out on his opening possession in overtime for a touchdown for the game. And he did it right there to kick things off. All right, well, he kicked things off that way, which led to that next kickoff, and he's up 7-0 on True Boy right now. True Boy's been fighting his way back all day long, it seems, so you can't count him out. Spot True Boy, and that is 
Fitzy. Oh, and look at him just get real tender with the left stick. It's like almost like he's not even doing it anything, but it's just enough to throw the defender off the scent. Larry Fitz, corner, wide open. That is what we in the biz call a dot. All right, True Boy still on offense in the shotgun set. Send the receiver in motion. Trailing 7 0 with two minutes, 30 seconds left. In he's, the first he's getting some streaks of his own here. Let's see. Oh, he's. Wow. Oh. I wonder what took him so long to make that throw. He was running wide open for about 30 yards. Yeah, I don't know if he saw it right away. Dallas Clark, amazing route running, great speed, but not the, not the best catch in traffic, but, but solid, but not. When that defender closed in on him, that's what forced the drop down the seam. All right, second and ten. Two boy drops back. Oh, gets lucky with that one. That one was broken up. That one was a Todd. The opposite of a dot, across the middle. Good defender in the area. He's been making a living on that throw. Sometimes you get a little bit too comfortable when you're going to something a lot, and his opponent took it away. All right, well, speaking of taking it away, if he can get a stop here on third and ten, he might be able to take away this possession. All right, Drew, uh oh. Uh oh. That's going to be a tough one. That's a tie. Late throw, the pressure caused that to happen. Rage is sending it, and he's going to need to send it one more time because there's a fourth down coming up. And Madden guys everywhere know that this is four down territory, especially for True Boy. He loves to go for it on fourth down. Yep, on the 43 yard line. He has to have a 10 yard play, or else he wouldn't be here and wouldn't be the number one seed. All right, trips bunch to the right. All right, he drops back. He's looking. Here comes. He has to make a catch. Oh, and he throws the pick. And not the worst thing that could happen. Forced it across the middle. I will say that I was not. I don't think he thought his opponent was going to expect, expect that to be an in route across the middle. It's not a route a ton of people call. And as soon as it broke, Rage identified it so fast. He's got that young mind, knew it was coming, hung with it, got underneath the throw, made the user pick, takes back over. But he's at the uh, he's got 72 yards to go here. I mean, he was one broken tackle away from getting those 72 all on that play right now. It's a pickup of seven yards for Rage. Yeah, it looked like Dion got involved in the tackling game right there. That's never great. Not the guy you want wrapping up. Not in the least, but right now it looks like Rage is trying to wrap up his first tournament win in his first tournament. But he still has True Boy to deal oh. with. Oh! <laughs> Long way to go. He's just one for four passing. He had the one long play, Rico. So threw that one a little bit early. Got to wait for that route to break and turn around. Maybe just some of the true boy pressure has been getting to him earlier and causing him to worry like that right there. Back foot throw to the flat. And that's not what he wants to do. He's relied on that. He's going to go for it here. Fourth and three. Dangerous living that he's making right now. That pressure threw him off. And now if you're true boy, you definitely have to take away the flats immediately and delayed. Oh. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you exactly what happened on that play. So what happened on that play was Anthony Barr came up to the A gap. When the ball was snapped, he was running through. So the game said, you're not coming in here. He then dropped back across the middle with that defender, got the pick. So he almost came too far down. That I think Rage was like, he's rushing bar? That's weird. And then six foot five gets back in the throwing lane, takes the quick read away. True boy. Amazing. All right, true boy looking to tie this one up. Ball on the 35 yard line, under a minute remaining in the first quarter, trailing 7 0 to Rage like a boss. True boy drops back. He's looking to make a play. Delayed route out of the backfield. Marcus Allen, spin move, breaks the tackle, gets to the corner, and dives in for the touchdown. Delayed route, great for picking up pressure, and then great as a safety valve. And what do turnovers lead to, Rico? Points. 7-7, seven, seven. responds in just 30 seconds. That good old blue route. You always got to keep one tucked on your offense. <laughs> Love the blue routes. Before in Madden, you could never hot route one. Remember that? You had to find plays that had them built in way back in the day, circa PS2. 
Now, you can actually hot route, a uh, check and release route out of the backfield, and some players like to do that. He did it right there, and it worked out for him. All right, well, like a boss needs to respond back to that. Oh, and he's sending the heat. True Boy is looking to build on that momentum on that drive, and he's locking up on defense. Aaron Rodgers is not having the day Rage would have expected in the finals. He's got to find a way to get it going. Also, he's not running the ball. That right side could be weak with the pressure coming off the left. The middle's open as he didn't use her at that time. Barely gets that one off, but he was able to connect for a first down and moving the chains. Rage has decided that he is going to continue to play his game regardless of what he's facing against True Boy. Rodgers trying to find a way to scramble out of the pocket. A deke and a slide for a first down. Nice stick work from Rage. All right, and just when you thought Rage was in control, we find out Spencer is having a few with his mom right now. Let's go to him. All right, thank you, Rico. I'm here with Rage's mom, who's been here the entire tournament. How proud of you are you of your son? Number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been supporting him his entire career, you know, driving him to events. What's that been like? Exciting, nerve-wracking, and just made me proud. <laughs> really. and, and it's all about family. Now, if he wins today's match, where do you think he should put his money in? Wherever he wants it to, but probably he's going to invest it in something. I know him. He's very smart. Smart kid for his age. Well, it looks like she raised her son right. All right, back to you, Rico. All right, well, is Bob watching the game right now? Is the jinx on or not? Because it looks like True Boy's making a little bit of a comeback. Yeah, True Boy went down 7 nothing, and then Rage took over on offense. He made that mistake across the middle on the short yardage. Gave True Boy a short field. He cashed it in. True Boy's trailed all day early in his opening game against Trey. Won him it in the fourth quarter. And then against Stevie J, he was down 14-0. Uh-oh, that's a bad Todd across uh -oh, the man. middle. Oh, and Anthony Barr dropped the rock, but he can't even get on it. And True Boy, that's the sometimes Madden's easy face right there. Gets the pick. Rage is having the sometimes Madden's hard face because that fumble, he wanted that. And it would have been a first down, too, because he had had possession. Could have been big. Absolutely. But True Boy's giving himself a second life here. He was down 7 nothing. Now he has the ball back, able to take a lead. True Boy maintains possession after that pick. Tie game. Crucial turnover mistakes from Rage that you're not used to seeing. You didn't see him in his first two games against Stiff. He was rock solid despite a fumble or two, but man, ah, it's, just, it's just tough. And then Marcus Allen delayed one more time out of the backfield. True Boy three for eight, but those late routes, impressive. We talk about this being the toughest club series field so far. Think about this for your first live tournament. You have to face the toughest field ever if you're Rage. You get matched up in your first game with last year's champion and then have to face the number one seed in the finals. That is a challenging row, but he's shown. He's got what it takes. Dodge Dallas Clark downfield. That's the read, True Boy. That's what we like to see. And that kid is a meme waiting to happen. He is an awesome, awesome young competitor. He's pumped up. He's got Dallas Clark going to the outside edge of the field. Corner out breaks. Yards after catch. Dallas makes up for that drop that he had on the other one. Gotta love True Boy not losing faith in him and continuing to throw the ball to him. Just the youngster right now, so impressive. I know we got two youngsters playing right now, but there's so much young talent in this Madden community that I recommend you start playing. And here's why. Because Rage started playing Madden about five years ago. Carry the two, that's 13 years old. That's when he really started to play competitive and he bent around the community. He's now turned 18 recently, so he's able to actually go and attend these Madden Championship Series events. Rico, even though he doesn't have series points yet because he was not 18, if he wins today, he goes to California, Los Angeles, on April 15th. He can then win that event, get 500 series points, and basically get into the final event, top 32, for $500,000. Wow. And when you throw routes like that, this opportunity, he knows what's at stake. He's going to, you know, potentially walk away with prize money today. His mom said he could do, does, uh, do what he wants with it. If he walks out of that championship event, it's going to be a different story. Die! Oh, wow. Do not count him out yet. 
Rage comes. He's played like a boss. He's been leading like a boss. He trailed like a boss. And now he's coming back like a boss. Yeah, he wants to make it to that April 15th event because that's his path in. True boy, he's sitting at number seven. And he just needs to be top 32 to get in. Plus, he's playing in the challenge coming up. Plus, he's got some points going today. So he is in really, really good position to get into it. Rage is not so lucky at this moment, but this is his chance, and he just tied the game here. All right, second quarter, 2 minutes, 59 seconds remaining. Ball on the 25-yard line, 14-14 in the finals here at the Jaguars Madden Club Series. So he got out of his set that he's been in all day, and then he, what does he do? He audibles back to it, motions the run over, and then had the left edge, tried to go back to the right, maybe over-sticking it. But Marcus Allen, just four for two, did have some uh, passes out of the backfield that he caught, but his run game not there. Maybe his run game has been setting up that pass game. Rage like a boss has decided he's going to take away one, but he's given up the other. Absolutely. Got to find a way to stress some pressure. He's done it a bit, just hasn't capitalized. All right, he picked up that blitz, finds him underneath, gets that first down and moves the chains. Dot. Dot for him right there, across the middle. Clark having a good day for True Boy. You got to credit True Boy for going away from the meta, Rico. <clears throat> Absolutely. True Boy is hung in there. He's been down. He's not weathered. He's stuck to his game plan and finds himself in the final with the ball about to go off. He's approaching the two-minute warning here. You think he's going to bring this one down? Got to hike it. Screamer got in. He clicked on, though, and took it away. And then the route out of the backfield leaks out for a first down. Marcus Allen. While Marcus Allen might not be getting it done running the ball, he's definitely been a factor catching that ball out of the backfield. Yeah, Enrico, by the meta, what I mean is, you know, most players that we saw at Madden Bowl, they didn't spend a lot of cap on their offensive line. In fact, most of the players today, some have all gold, like Stevie J. Others have all bronze, like Miami Man. But True Boy, <laughs> great defense by Rage. True Boy decided, you know what, I'm going to try this out. I don't want to be the last man to know. I'm going to set the trend. I'm youth. I am not going to wait and see what other people do. With the, the most recent update, where offensive linemen pass blocking became more important, he decided to spend big on it, see how it works for him in this event. Kind of live lab a new lineup in this event because even though the challenge, which is the third major and the one that's upcoming, is draft champions, the fourth event, the championship, which he's sitting pretty in, is salary cap. So why not get some experience tweaking your lineup? Hey, can, can I survive with a bronze defensive line or not? Can, you know, how can I get it done? He All threw right. it. Wow. Ew, he didn't want that one. He's just, sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. Double coverage. Good pass lead throw by his quarterback. Clicked on. That's why you get a Larry Fitzgerald. You're not going to make a living doing that, but when it works for you, you're going to eat. And boy, did it work for him. And speaking of working for him, Marcus Allen, a.k.a. Two Boys Workhorse, gets in there and has brought it down to the one-yard line. Okay. <clears throat> and Rage took a timeout. It took him a second to take it. I wasn't sure if he was going to. Smart move to take the timeout. True Boy on offense, 14-14 as he didn't get any sneaks it in. Now Rage is going to have one drive to respond with two timeouts. 50 seconds, that's plenty of time. And this one's going back and forth. It's a much more open game than you would have expected. Here's where Rage has to be careful. True Boy is known for sending blitzes, sending that heat. If you try to go back, throw way too long for one of those deep routes to develop, you could wind up getting hit, throwing a pick, or a fumble. Yeah, and Stevie J on his final drive in the semis did have two to three really nice routes that went downfield and, and helped him move quick. I know Rage was watching that game. Let's see if he's got a dot or two, or if he goes back. This kid Rage earlier has had a couple streaks that have just gotten wide open. I doubt True Boy would give him that, that opportunity, but you never know. Are you in coverage here, or are you sending the house? Uh, it looks like the pressure is coming. He picks it up, though. He's going downfield. He's going to Evans and he can't hang on uh, there were some one-on-one -on -one chances right there he just couldn't quite get there 
Yes, he definitely had a shot at it. All right, second and 10, 43 seconds remaining. The clock's not ticking, so he has to be not cognizant of giving. Oh, that throwaway hurts rage, because now Trubert has to be thinking, I can get the ball back here if I play good defense for one more down. One more down's all he needs, Rico. Uh, the flat pattern out to the halfback has just not been there for Rage today. That's a credit to True Boy for taking it away as he used it quite a bit in his first game against Stiff Meister. You definitely want a complete X. pass. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought he had X. What happened was X went in to get open, so X, X tried to run away from the sideline and get open. He ran into three guys. And uh, because, you know, Madden's got the physics, he, it didn't work out for him. And that, now he's going to have to punt. That route would have been open, but just too many defenders in the area. Uh, I liked it. I would have made that same calculation. All right. Starting from the 18, he has 27 seconds left. Three timeouts. Is there three points here for True Boy if he wants it? There's three. There could be seven. There could be six. Probably not two points for Rage, but I mean, 27 seconds, three timeouts is gold. These are gold. You got to use them. Plenty of time. You got three routes in you. Make a play. Screamer, ball is out. Cool. Get on it. Kick it. Pick it up. Oh my gosh. And Rage is, this is why they call him Rage. No, I'm just kidding. He's stoic. He's tough. He's hanging in there. But I would be raging. Dude, he did not pick up the fumble. Sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. You do everything right. You send an edge blitz. Now, pick it up at is the he two. setting himself up to get the two that you said he couldn't get? Right? And now, because he only had one timeout left, True Boy would be able to, to take it to the half. And that hurts like a boss because you needed that turnover to pick you up. Points, Rico. It, it, you got to capitalize. It's not his fault. His guy was there. Just you got to dive on the ball. Absolutely. That would have been a pickup, scoop, and score. We'd have been looking at 21 21 going into the half. And now True Boy gets the ball back uh, on offense. And it's going to be critical that he scores here. He's been adjusting to the opponents that he's facing, and he's been doing it in the third and fourth quarter, and that's when Madden games are won. Look at that run to the right by Allen. That, oh my goodness, okay, the stick work from is. this kid is insane. The crowd is ooing and awing. The players have their hands on their head. The players can't. The players that just play are standing there. No, he can't believe it. The guys over there can't believe it. I mean, we can't believe it. What stick work? He and is showing. His name is True Boy. It might be Trendsetter from now on. I think you're going to see a lot of people now looking at their lineups again and trying to figure out where they can increase their line. I think so. I think so. I think they're going to see if they can purchase a thumb that can work like that because that, that was nothing. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing he's doing other than just willing to take left stick risks with his ball carrier. It's so impressive. Look at the thumbs right there. He's making his adjustments now on defense, but he's been doing it for some time, and no one's really caught on to it. Um, and I'm interested to see at the challenge if anyone's able to step up and have a stick like that. All right, well, True Boy has a 14-point lead. Oh, and he's sending him. Pay to go ahead and get there. It is now second and 19. Thunder so thumbs. He's <laughs> taken over. And that's Bud Dupree. And people might say, well, Forrest, he's a good player. And I would tell you, yes, he is. But that's base gold Bud Dupree, 73 overall. Pick, tip drill. That is bad news. Tried to go downfield, and the tip was too strong. Leads to a turnover down the middle of the field. Richard Sherman's one place where he does have some studs. But, I mean, he's getting it done with that, that pass rush from Dupree is a gold. Uh, Mark Barron. Budget, but gold. Anthony Barr, gold. So impressive stuff. In for rage, you can't rage because you've got a 59 guy named Cole Tony as your right guard. You, you got all bronze, bro. So your his gold is actually in favor of your bronze, and maybe that's where True Boy's a step ahead of the meta. Definitely is. His new nickname is Trendsetter. 
All right, well, he's up 14 right now, letting that clock tick in the third quarter. A little under four minutes remaining here in the finals at the Jacksonville Madden Club Series. True Boy trying to find a way. He's like going back to his hometown of California. Uh-oh, what a route from True Boy. That was a throw that Rage was utilizing. And that's why he's nodding his head. He's like, I was kind of doing that earlier. True Boy goes, that's something he hasn't really done all day. And all of a sudden, when he's up to put the dagger in Rage, he goes for it. Rage will learn. One of the first Madden rules you learn, don't run something unless you can stop it. Correct, correct. What a performance here from True Boy. Got out to the lead just before the half. Big time run after the half. Not waiting until the fourth quarter. If you're just tuning in. True Boy needed a comeback in his last game against Stevie J. Was down 14 0. Beat Ocean Gang Trey in his first one. Had to come back in the fourth quarter. But today in this one, he's showing why he is the number one seed, why he was the favorite in this event, why he is the future of competitive Madden. Not just listening to Future in the headphones, which he really actually is but he's forced three toner turnovers from Rage. And that's why he has a 35-14 lead in this game. Yes, he has that 35-14 lead with a little over three minutes remaining. And Boss is still trying. He's still fighting, he's still clawing, but he has a long way to go, trailing by 21 in the third quarter. Trailing, he's still got a shot though, Rico. Crazier things have happened, if he can get some yards, He's got his timeouts. There's plenty of time left in this game. Eight minutes plus. He can scramble, and that's a good job by True Boy, who, who said, hey, you want to run it with the quarterback? He started to drop down. He thought he could maybe then throw that slant. Decided not to. Ran, picked up 10. Great cat and mouse game going on in this finals of the Jaguars Club Series. Here's the only thing. True Boy's right now is running a bend but don't break defense, which is also eating up some clock. Ooh, crispy. You don't see that a lot, Rico. That's, that's a little turn him around. That was definitely, that, the rocket is back. Fancy, huh? Yes. And he had to because uh, True Boy actually sent pressure from the right there. Most of this game, it's been from the left today, right? But that was a uh, loop in off the right side, so he had to get a hot one out. And that is why he turned around his receiver so fast as he tries to go one-on-one -on -one, but is defended in that situation. All right, shotgun set. He's trying to make something happen. Trailing by 21. He's looking for playmaker, an open person. Playmaker, playmaker. Oh, he him. finds him. Great play. Pryor. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Ramsey, the Jaguar, up on the video board here. Pop. Crushed him, but he hung on. Great play on the playmaker. Jalen Ramsey almost forced another turnover for that man. And he tries to scramble in, breaks a tackle, uh -oh. and he is going to score a touchdown. Great play from Rage. Needed a broken tackle, got it. And now he pulls within 14 points. Just two possessions. Two minutes still left in the third quarter, Rico, all day in Madden years, but you gotta find a way to slow down True Boy. He's gonna need to stop, and he's gonna need to stop quickly. And True Boy, he's one of the smartest players out. This is where I think he's going to use the clock, his stick work, and his run game to try to make this game a lot shorter than it is. Coming out in the single back, deuce wing formation. Not something you see every day. Ooh. Can't break it out to the edge. Remember that cut he had with Marcus Allen on that last run, that dive? Stiff used something like that from the single back tight in last year's event where you could actually cut out to the right. I have not seen that in 17. I saw it in 16. Stretch off the right side. Allen blocking pretty solid, but does take a hit as he gets out of bounds. So 10 carries for 91 yards. Remember he had the one super long run? Not much else there. He's he's done a good job, has rage, but critical third down. Yeah, he needed to get off the field back then. Now it's third and three right here. You're trailing by 14. If he can go ahead and get this stop here, he could get back in this game. Pressure, pressure. Oh, overthrow. So pressure came up the middle, caused Russell Wilson overthrow. And with a 14-point lead at your own 27, after only running off about 30 seconds, 
you go for it here on offense. You know why? Because you're true boy. You like this, Rico? I'm not sure, but here's what I'll tell you. Hindsight's always 20-20. So give me about 12 seconds, and I'll get back to you whether I like the call or not. True Boy sending somebody in motion. Trying to switch up the look. He drops back. Box for now. Box! Ball is out. Is he going to jump on it? Okay, 16-yard line. Because that was fourth down, Rage takes over at the 16, and now he trails by seven, uh, 14. Looking to score. Getting back to you? No. Don't like the ball. Not a good move. It was a box, that play. Oh, wow. Did you see the way Rage B -B -B. picked up all those? He had uh, maybe. Would have been tight. Couldn't get out of his own way. Well, he had some nifty uh, quarterback pocket presence in the beginning, but he just couldn't get away from that last one in order to get time to get that throw off. Second and 16. What I like there is he gave himself a little bit more room to operate. S pressure open. Evans dropped the bean. Rodgers, three touchdowns, but three picks so far. And now a third and 16. I think he's in four down territory, but if he doesn't pick up about 10, 12 yards, it's really hard to pick up 16 yards here. He's going to need to do Ooh. something. He fires wow. over. Dot! Wow. Touchdown. Do not count him out yet. Come back. <laughs> like a boss. Oh, wow. You're going to trademark that one. Well, True Boy is going to need to go ahead. These winds of change have started blowing. He needs to get a handle on this game, get back to what got him here, and buckle down. Because now it's a seven-point game, and we're not even in the fourth quarter yet. So you've been in these situations. You're up two scores. You have a seven-point lead with the ball, but somehow it feels like the pressure's on you. It feels like you're down by seven. How does that happen in a Madden? Like, what's the mentality? How does that, why does that feel that way? It feels that way because you have all the pressure of the world. The last couple of drives, everything has gone against you. Everything that was working earlier, that was not working. All your reads that were open are now covered. Your running plays are now, there are no holes. So now what you need to do is get focused again, get yourself together, and just play for three here, three in the clock. All you need to do is take as much time as humanly possible and get three. And that was a risky throw. Seems possibly open, but third and nine, Rage being up. That run he broke to the outside has spoiled him a little bit. He's looking to take everything outside now as opposed to running up the gut. And now he's had to go to the air. If he doesn't get a first down and here. He, and these, these C routes, let's see if they get open. They're not. They're boxed. The playmaker, he taps it, and that is dropped. Rico, sometimes... You need the game to hand you a turnover. You got it. You had your defenders there. You need that Plinko chip to fall down because now he's going to go for it on fourth and nine. And usually when you drop a pick, something bad happens to you the next Absolutely. play. Absolutely. True but boy. Here, here's what happens. True boy. That <laughs> He threw that off his back foot just up for grabs. He needs to be focused there. God. Wow. And that is where Rage is just shaking his head. And that's where True boy takes a deep breath. He knows he got away with an interception. Rage has failed to pick up a couple fumbles. He's failed to catch a couple picks, and it's starting to add up. But he's still got three timeouts, five minutes left. His opponent's on his own half. This kid's got to fight. I talked to him before the game. He said, I just have to hang in there. I know my name is Rage. When I play at home, I have a lot of passion, but I watch the greats. I watch Problem Right. When he plays, what does he do? He's focused. He's thinking about the next play. He can't think about the last play. He can't get that one back. Yes, he said all of this to me between games. Uh, he wants to just stay focused and keep playing his game. Second and eight here. Well, right now his game is looking great on defense. True Boy is going to need to do something to make sure he can start moving these chains more. How, I mean, how many hits, though? How many? How much can you absorb, Rico? How many hits can you take? Definitely, you're going to want to avoid as many as possible. The team was open. Edge was open. Everybody was open. And that's where, I guess, and, and I stand corrected. That's why I'm, I'm on this side of the, <laughs> of the sticks now. True Boy had no problem going to the air, bought himself some room. He's almost in field goal range now. The clock's starting to move. Four minutes on the 36-yard line. I'd be shocked if he threw that ball again. Yeah, Dan Carpenter, the kicker, is going to need just a couple more yards for a real simple shot. But Marcus Allen, aside from one huge run, 
in a couple huge catches. Hasn't done much. Oh, well, look for him to do something here because second and 11, True Boy is a little bit out of his field goal range, so he's going to need to pick up a couple yards. And he's been having some trouble throughout the air. He picks that up. Screamer, no fumble, wanted it. True Boy had a read. Felt like he could have got that ball out. And we don't, we haven't seen any gunslinger quarterbacks today. I believe Master Gamer had one. But gunslinger helps you get the ball out even quicker. Russell Wilson could have used that ability chemistry right there. This is a big play right here, third and 11. He needs to at least get to field goal range. You want to give yourself a two-score cushion. Great user. He's got to get back to the middle of the defense, though. A sloppy route on his circle, Rico. So he went and took away the corner. And when he went to loop back, you got to keep your guy active to get back to the middle of the field. He just didn't close the gap with his user. Got to be faster to get there. Yeah, and that's going to come back to haunt you now. Because now that clock is running. And if he doesn't get in here, now you're looking at another 30 seconds off that clock. And you're guaranteed at least three here. Yeah, and he's turned two clock on. He's down under two. He's going to hike it and probably be able to take it to the two-minute warning, depending on how long this play takes. So let's see if he does yet. Yeah, they gave him the score. As he might have crossed the line of scrimmage. Let's see if... Uh, That's the best thing that could have happened. Oh, well, it's a scoring play, so it will be reviewed from up top. Booth review, play is overturned, as suspected. Rage, little smile right there. Not really. But 2.25 to go, 28 seconds. He's going to uh, just take a quick pause and make sure everything's going. We got our man on the job. Rico, do you let him score so he can get the ball back? or You have to, because there's no difference between being down 10 and 14 at this point with so little time left on the clock. you got to let him get in here. And then you need to be productive on offense. It's, you want to try and save those timeouts as much as you can. This is a situation... True Boy was up two scores against Mo, or uh, one score, had the ball, tried to end the game, sneaks in, goes up two TDs. So True Boy in his previous men bowl game played Mo after advancing out of group stage, single elimination game. Mo came back, ended up winning the game on a Deion Sanders catching the seam touchdown. But True Boy had a chance. He went for it on, I think, third and one and fourth and one. He said he hit the wrong button on third and one. That was the one he was thinking about. Not the, the fourth and one play where he threw a pick to Night Train on a flat. Uh, it was more the third down play that bugged him. And right there, that was a flawless championship drive. This kid's done it in the fourth quarter all day long. All right. Well, speaking about getting it done in the fourth quarter, we're going to see if Boss can get it done here and come up with an amazing comeback. Great route. Oh, that was tough. I mean, he couldn't hang on to it. Good route, dropped it. Uh, True Boy going with some man-style coverage right there. Great time to mix it in as it, help, it takes a while for your opponent to kind of figure out how to beat it. All right, play action. He's dropping back. I'm not sure if that play action fooled anybody. He was <laughs> that ball. I say it, Rico. Can't run play action. You're not really going to run the ball. But, I mean, it does help with blocking and Madden. And there are some better plays and different plays off of it. But didn't fool True Boy in that scenario. Ooh! Going downfield. Swerve catch. We know True Boy knows how to defend it. But perhaps he wasn't prepared for it. Because if he was prepared, potential interception. That's a risky maneuver to try. Don't go back to the well too many times. Got a great oh. route out of the backfield. Johnson lays down, saves his timeout. He's going to start to get some tempo in the red zone. As long as he scores and saves those, as long as he has three timeouts, it doesn't matter how much time's left as long as it's 30 seconds or so. Now, here's a fundamental question that has plagued the Madden community for ages. You have three timeouts. Do you onside kick anyway? Great question. Great question. I would, but I think you kick deep. And here's where I couldn't disagree more. You have to onside kick. A first down gets you either way. Okay. So give yourself two chances, because if you get the stop, they're still not kicking a field goal from there. And a great play. He's going to go for two? He's going to go for two. He wants to make it a six-point game. This is a crucial play here. Aaron Rodgers throws to Moss, who doesn't catch it. Rage, interesting decision. 
to go for two there rather than potentially go and try to win the game later. Gets less pressure. And he kicks deep against onside kick formation. I would have liked to squib right there. He decides to kick deep. He's got three timeouts. Starts by eight. Now he has to get two if he's score. But first he's got to shut down five elite offensive linemen and Mark Allen in this game. Can't do it, and Marcus Allen goes all the way downfield and lays down at the 22-yard line in field goal range. That is why you get yourself five elite offensive linemen. Let me read their names to you, Rico, because they don't get enough love in this game sometimes. Andrew Worth, Josh Sitton, Mitchell Morse, Marshall Yonda, Jack Conklin. All across the board, some secure blockers. Great blocking. Marcus Allen in the biggest moments has been big for True Boy. Absolutely. Wait, and he, his run per carry, his yards per carry is going to look a lot better after those two great big runs. But he's been the workhorse that True Boy needed him to be all day long. He's delivered. He's got it done. And we have our champion, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Eli Clayton, a.k.a. True Boy, traveled here from California to Jacksonville, Florida, and has gotten it done. Our number one seed, the first one. And while I'd like to congratulate him, and I know you want to congratulate him, somebody a little special has some great words for our winner. Let's check it out. So proud. Hey fellas, on behalf of the Jacksonville Jaguars, congrats on your win. We're excited for you to represent Duval in the Club Series Championship, man. Go Jags. You gotta love that. OMG, Jalen Ramsey's been such a great player. To see that, it's incredible. But right now, Spence is down there with True Boy, our winner. Take it away, Spence. All right, True Boy, another back and forth game. Yeah. But how's it feel to get the win? Uh, felt good. Uh, still, not my best work. You know, I know I'm better than that. Uh, but Rage is really good. Like that just goes to show that a lot of these young guys are really good, and they should be able to play. A lot of guys that are under 18 as well, they should be able to come out. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it, it does work out. You know, in the future. Did you ever feel safe during that game? You had a pretty strong lead, gave it up, got it back. How were you feeling? Uh, no, I, I didn't feel safe with the 21-point lead. I knew he's good, so I knew he was going to come back and fight. So. All right. Now you're solidified your chance in the Madden Championship. You know, are you making different changes to your game? Any adjustments? What you got? Uh, definitely got to find some run D because uh, that kind of killed me today. That's kind of why I was in a lot of close games. But uh, if I could get that straight in, I mean, I'll be fine. All right. Well, I think I see my buddy Jackson DeVille. Well, he's got a big check for you. All right. Well, true boy, he's got the big check. How you feeling? Uh, I feel good, you know. Uh, it's just, yeah, I'm just blessed to be here. Uh, I got a lot of work to do when I get back home, though. You know, I got midterms and stuff, and I got get ready for the D.C. Uh, championship, or D.C. Madden uh, Classic, I believe. Oh, Challenge, I, I believe. So, yeah, I just got to get ready for that, and then I'll be fine. All right, Rico, back to you. All right, thanks, man.